Good evening guys, Streamix17 for you with another video tonight for you guys. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different to how I wanted to do the video tonight. I wanted to do the video to show you my golden egg hatching. But, as things don't happen as well as you want them to, unfortunately tonight, I tried to try and find um, on my quest, well my hunt, sorry, for the golden egg. Uh, I went to three different locations with lots of petrol and lots of driving and lots of mileage and I could not manage to find this piece on the map whatsoever. I couldn't locate it on Google because obviously there's just one road like that and just a little tiny bit in the right hand corner um, and Google Maps is obviously the best place to find it but obviously I couldn't find it whatsoever. I drove, as I said, three different destinations all the way around near the obelisk and a couple of caves around them and I did not manage to find them whatsoever. So please, please, please guys, honestly, for future reference, please make sure the first obelisk you go to, it's a place you do know best and do know well. Also, that's near maybe a landmark or a river or I don't know, like a big school maybe, I don't know. As long as it's not too close to people's homes, obviously you can't predict that, whatever. But like not in the st uh, you know in the sticks where there's loads of fields and things like that, because otherwise you're not going to know, and you're not going to have a clue where to find it. Because obviously, as I found out the hard way, it's just not good. That's a pretty good accent. I've just found a while four four as well. That's pretty good. I quite might keep him to be fair, so they get rid of him. Uh, but still, other than that, while we're on that subject, guys. After my depressing golden hunt, golden egg hunt day that went dramatically wrong, I shouldn't even be level 16 as well. Um, let me just have a little bit of a chat to you guys about stats, okay? Now, the stats on these haven't 100% been worked out yet because it's, there's no IV calculators online, which I haven't managed to find or anything yet. But I do know for a fact that when you look at these creatures, okay, let's go to Pillow Cat because he's one of my favourites, okay? Um, he has got, as you can see there, four strength and four health, okay? Now, if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see two swords, okay? Now, you get to obviously change the colour, but it's obviously different ones you want to use, and obviously, if you wanted to use specific types of ones for different, you know. When you come up in a battle, okay, you will obviously use the ones that have, you can see there, four strength. Yeah, I'm really going to use him, okay? But if he's got four strength and in that right hand top corner, he's got a shield, his best stats will be in defensive rather than attacking, okay? So even though he has got a good strength number there, which can go up to one to five, okay? So if it's a five, it still probably wouldn't be as good as one that's got five with those swords, as you can see in the top right corner there, okay? I'm going to show you another example, Dracul okay he's really good to use as well he's got strength four but still in the top right hand corner there he's got a shield so his stats are basically maxed out in defensive so he would probably be better off used in arenas defending your arena from obviously my for me it would be red no red yeah reds okay so it'd be better to use him in arenas to defend okay but as i haven't got him in a I mean, I can't really show you there. But still, um, again, Basil, see, he's not really the one to show there, but still. He, three and a four. He's got three strength, and obviously his best uh, attributes are in attack. So still, he would still be good to use, say, if he was a three with a defensive in the corner. He'd still be best to use, okay? Even if it was a two with a sword in the corner, a defensive in the corner, he would still be best to use. So still, please make sure, guys, if you are trying to power him up from the bottom, so like this Ian or no not him uh, it's, it's even so he, uh, he's got four but he's also got two swords in the corner up there which means his best attributes are in attack so you want to use him for attack rather than defensive okay so but he again four four best in both but still best in attack at the top as well guys so you want to look out for that as well okay also the cp changes dramatically as well Obviously, the better stats in the creatures, the better CP it will have. So, for instance, say, if halfway along there you had another Eskimo. Let's have a look. I've only got the one. Let's go in the name. Okay, so let's look at some that are dramatically the same. My Frogus is. Here we go. Okay. He's got 78 CP. Okay. But he's got 87 CP. They are pretty much the same. Okay, so let's power him at once. Okay. Okay, so he'll be 84. Right, okay. Let's just have a look at him. He's 87, he's quite high up there, but it's Frogger's here, he's 84, okay? He's got three and two, and he's got one and two. But this Frogger's originally, the 84, is overly all better because he has got better stats having three, and he's also better in attack. 
He is defensive and has got one sense. He's overall not as good as the other one. We'll get rid of him just to get rid of that, okay? Um, but the other one is obviously a lot better than the other one, okay? You have to watch out for this, guys. If you want to create some creatures, power them up, evolve them, you want to make sure they have the best stats used. So if you want to use it for attacking, make sure you look out for the attacking bar in the right-hand corner, as long as long uh, along with the uh, strength number there as well guys if you do manage to find a 5-5 i believe that is the best in the game so it will be 100 percent creature please make sure you snapshot me a picture on twitter or just let me know on here i've never seen a 5-5 i'm pretty sure they do exist but I've, i'm pretty sure they're really rare so i haven't seen any of those whatsoever so but other than that and guys if you are planning to obviously level one up please make sure it's the best one you want to use because some of them do take a lot a lot of stones to use for example, him, he have obviously 50 to evolve, so uh, you don't want to waste those stones on a creature you don't want to use. So yeah, um, as again for types, I will go through that in another video because that's quite a long one to go through as well. I'll go through what types you want to use. Some types are better against others. For example, he has got like a 205 CP, okay? If he came up against somebody, it's like 400, maybe 450, 500, but he was weak he was strong against another type he will probably survive okay so it's all about typing up and what strengths are better than others but that's again there's another video i'll go through on that for you because it's quite a long way okay that's a nice little gps uh track there but still i hope this video did help you tonight guys if you are planning to evolve some and level up some creatures please make sure it's the best one to use for your other attack or defensively as well just don't look for those numbers okay but other than that guys thank you for joining me on this non-golden egg hunt journey i will next time please make sure i will uh, make sure i do find the right obelisk in the right area because otherwise i don't want this to happen again okay i've got a bit of a croaky throat tonight guys i do apologize for that still anyway guys thank you so much for watching please leave me a like if you're liking these videos also tell your friends to subscribe if they do want to subscribe and your parents i don't mind they can all watch i don't mind but still thank you guys for watching tonight guys hope you all have a lovely evening i'll see you guys later bye